Good morning and welcome to Stouffville, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to my vlog, welcome to my channel. Isn't it gorgeous? This is fall here and it's the best time of year in my opinion. And we're going to be finishing up, uh, or just, I'm gonna figure out a new technique to make skin tone. And we're going to be uh, painting that and maybe, hopefully, getting into some painting um, of the the other doll if I get to that point. But um, yeah, so enjoy. This is my second attempt at doing some eyeballs with air dried clay. So I took the air dried clay, shaped it into as much of a perfect circle as I could and sanded it and did my best. And I also glazed it with this clear glue. The reason being is that um, when I put the gel, poly gel on it, which is this nail extension gel, um, it needs uh, some barrier between the clay and this, uh, I found. I found that that seems to be what it needs to, to cure properly. So I figured this clear glue would be a good choice, being that it's non-toxic and it will make the surface of this clay uh, non-permeable so the so the poly gel will, will uh, cure better all right let's see how it turns out all right so i've applied some paint uh, this is a mixture of um, uh, pastels and watercolor paint uh, to make a very dark pigment um, I did a very dark pupil because uh, I don't want to actually put in another pupil. I just want to see how this gel works uh, with this combination of of uh, materials. All right, so okay. this is the first layer of poly. So the eyeballs are curing in my little nail thing. So these are the sketches that I've done to practice my face ups for the um, the doll. The Kuku Harajuku doll that I have. This is her. And um, I'm going to do her eyes, something like that. And also for this face, um, I'm hoping it'll turn out something like that once the face ups are done. A tip that I was given um, when I was doing a lot of research online on a lot of these crafting blogs, they would say that um, you could use. Uh, low budget craft or chalk pastels um, and this is a very low uh, priced low Cornell Simply Art chalk pastel set 48 of them and you can use these um, the difference between like low quality uh, or basic you know low priced pastels uh, as opposed to uh, the software pastels that are higher priced is simply the amount of pigment in them there's a lot of binder in cheaper chalk pastels. So in order to get to the pigment or to um, get the, the pigment cut to come out of these, um, the tip is to use a fine grade sandpaper and to take the pastel and to rub it on the sandpaper. And then you will eventually separate the pigment um, from the binders and you will be able to get a very strong pigment. So. That is a nice little tip that I got out of the blocks that I've never heard before on any of the YouTube channels. So this is where I am with the doll. I used gesso for the eye whites and I've been work building up layers and layers of watercolor pencils and I'm using these Faber Castell watercolor pencils to draw in the eyes and it's, it's slow going because it's uh, you have to build up thin layers. As for the eyes, they still have not cured yet. They are still taking forever. I think I need to put them under the light for like an hour before they're not sticky anymore. Yeah, it's still sticky. I don't know. I don't know if it's my light or it's still too thick or just this is a total fail. But whatever. So that's it for my video today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye bye for now.